He sure does look familiar. Who have I seen his face before? Our favorite handsome actors are usually one of a kind. That's why we like them. But are they really that unique? Unique. Move or not. Unique. There are 10 actors with doppelgangers that look so much like them, it's actually scary. Follow the yellow brick room. Jason Priestley started his acting career in the late 80s by appearing in TV shows like Airwolf, 21 Jump Street and Quantum Leap before making his big break as Brandon Walsh on the TV series Beverly Hills 90210. The show made him an overnight star and the dream guy of a lot of viewers. And not just girls fell in love with him. He had his fair share of gay fans. Can we really blame them for falling in love with him? Yes, sir. Have a good interview. So, who does Jason Priestley look like? Justin Walker is best known for his portrayal of Christian in the 1995 comedy Clueless. Clueless was one of the first films to have a positive portrayal of a gay character in the 1990s. But despite the legacy of the film 20 years later, the film typecast Justin Walker as the gay guy from Clueless. Are you okay? And he eventually retired from acting in 2005. Everybody knows who Harrison Ford is, and he's been a hunk for over five decades. His first known role was an uncredited one as the bellhop in 1966 Dead Heat on a Merry Go Round. But it would take almost 20 years before Ford's status as a leading man was solidified with Raiders of the Lost Ark. Most people know Harrison Ford from his roles in the Star Wars trilogy and Indiana Jones. So, who does he look like? Dirk Benedict was a popular actor from the 70s known for his roles in films like Battlestar Galactica and TV shows like Chopper 1 and The A-Team. One of his earliest roles was in a 1973 horror movie. Okay, that just sounded silly, but uh, yeah, it was the sound that Snake makes. And that was the first time that we got to see him in all his glory. Well, until they decided to edit the skinny dip scene. Do you agree that they were separated at birth? Let me know in the comments. But don't just stop there. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to the channel. There's only one channel like this. No doppelganger channels exist on YouTube. That's good to know. Russell Todd appeared in several films during the 80s, including Friday the 13th Part 2, Where the Boys Are, Chopping Mall, and He Knows You're Alone, all of which became gold classics. He appeared in several TV shows in the 1980s and 90s, before disappearing completely from the limelight in 2004. Or did he? Russell Todd has very distinct facial features and piercing eyes, so maybe he didn't disappear from the spotlight after all. Perhaps he morphed into... Tom Welling is best known for his role as Clark Kent in the superhero TV show Smallville, which ran from 2001 to 2011. In 2003, Welling made his feature debut as Charlie in the family comedy film Cheaper by the Dozen, which starred Steve Martin and Bonnie Hunt. The film was a remake of the 1950 film and helped to cement his popularity as a teen hunk. <music> Tobias Jelinek portrayed Jay in Hocus Pocus and became everybody's secret crush back in 1993 with his bad boy demeanor. LA. Oh, dude! Tubular. I'm Jay. This is Ernie. There was just something unique about this blonde bad boy that drew our attention. And it was probably the reason why this movie was so popular. Well, in my opinion, anyway. Jelinek made several films in the years that followed, but never really became a big star. Or did he too perhaps move into another actor? Who does he look like? Jack Noseworthy is a gay actor best known for his roles in films like the horror film Event Horizon. Did you hear it? Keep him talking. Yes. Yes, I heard it. Do you know what it is? It shows you things. The teen slasher idle hands. I can't believe you blocked me like that. I thought we were gods. And my personal favorite, Breakdown, starring Kurt Russell. Now, according to your wife, you got a good pile of cash sitting in your bank account at home. Is that true? He is a dead ringer for Jelani. So much that he's been mistaken for the actor several times in the past. Noseworthy married his life partner Sergio Trujillo. Sergio Trujillo. I'll just put the name up on the screen, then you can see if you can pronounce it. I don't. I, 
I I don't know. They got married in 2011. Mazel tov. Is that what you say? If you're new to the channel, I post videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No videos on a Monday though, Why not? not? Because I don't like Mondays. I don't like Mondays. Bird Reynolds is one of a kind and a man's man, being labeled a sex symbol and an icon of American popular culture during the 1970s. Sorry, I don't want to get married. Terrific. That makes two of us. His black hair, thick mustache, and manly physique made him quite popular amongst the ladies, and obviously gay men for obvious reasons. And sure, he he does kind of look like Tom Selleck, but that would have been just too easy for this video. So, who does he look like? In my opinion, Mark Ruffalo. Just slap a mustache on him, and he's a dead ringer for Tom Selleck. I mean, Burt Reynolds. Mark Ruffalo made his screen debut in 1988 in an episode of CBS Summer Playhouse, before making his big screen debut in Mirror Mirror 2: Raven Dance in 1994. He got international acclaim for his role in 2010 Shutter Island and even an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Today most people know him as Bruce Banner from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Tom Matthews is best known for his role as Tommy Jarvis in Friday the 13th Part 6: Jason Lives, which was released in 1986. Yeah, 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 Jason murdered him in some psychiatric clinic ever since. And his portrayal of Freddy in 1985's *The Return of the Living Dead*. Are you sure that you want to do this? The guy offered me a hundred for a night's work. I, mean, I, I can't turn that down, can I? Which is my personal favorite, as this film introduced me to him. Starting out as a model and commercial actor, this handsome actor went on to star in some of the most popular TV shows of the 80s, including *Falcon's Crest* and *Dynasty*. He continued to act well into the 90s, but that was when his career started to slow down. This was also run about the time that his doppelganger started to rise in stardom. So who does he look like? Cole Hauser made his film debut in 1992's *School Ties* with Brendan Fraser, Matt Damon, Chris O'Donnell, and Ben Affleck. All of them went on to become leading Hollywood men. Hauser has over 30 acting credits to his name, including *Too Fast to Furious* and the box office flop *The Cave*, which was released in 2005. The Eternal Hunk, Robert Redford, made his acting debut in 1960's *Tall Story* in a minor role. The film starred Anthony Perkins and Jane Fonda, and would be the stepping stone Redford needed to be noticed by Hollywood and become a leading man. Starting in 1973, Redford experienced a four-year run of box office hits when it came to his movies, including *The Way We Were* and *The Great Gatsby*, molding him into the ultimate romantic leading man. Redford is mostly retired from acting now and spends most of his career behind the camera, but he was at his peak during the 1970s. And who does 1970s Robert Redford look like? Brad Pitt has been cited as one of the most powerful and influential people in the American entertainment industry. He started off his acting career in the little-known horror movie *Cutting Class*, which was released in 1989. He gained wider recognition for his role in *Thelma and Louise*, which would eventually help him become one of Hollywood's most beloved leading men. Rob Lowe became a teen idol and a member of the 80s Brat Pack with roles in films like The Outsiders released in 1983, Class also released in 1983, The Hotel New Hampshire 1984, which I reviewed for the Friday reaction video. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link at the end of this video. I don't think there was a girl or a gay guy who did not have a crush on Rob Lowe back in the day. His breakthrough role was his big screen debut in 1983 when he and Emilio Estevez was cast in The Outsiders. You see my DX shirt somewhere? Hey, you got to wear a mask, buddy. How about my jeans? The film received positive reviews upon release and was a box office hit, and also became a cult classic in the years that followed. So, who does 1980s Rob Lowe look like? Ian Somerhalder is probably best known for his roles in the TV shows like Lost and Vampire Diaries. He started his acting career by starring in the TV show Young Americans, which was a spin-off of Dawson's Creek. Young Americans was cancelled, but he eventually got his big break when he landed the role of Boone in the 2004 mystery TV series Lost. What are you doing in Australia? Business or pleasure? I will always be grateful to Wes Craven for casting Johnny Depp in A Nightmare on Elm Street. Depp has gone on to become one of the most beloved and most celebrated men in Hollywood, and has been nominated for three Academy Awards throughout his career. Believe it or not, actor Nicolas Cage was the one to convince Johnny Depp to pursue his acting career. My personal favorite Johnny Depp film is Edward Scissorhands. What happened to your face? Hmm. 
But no matter who you are, I'm pretty sure you have a favorite Johnny Depp film. So who does Johnny Depp look like? Skid Ulrich started his acting career in the late 1980s, but only came to worldwide prominence for his role in the 1996 horror film Scream, as well as The Craft. They're witches. Witches. Which turned him into an overnight sensation and a teen idol. I've always had a crush on Skid Ulrich, and his resemblance to Johnny Depp is uncanny. James Dean was a cultural icon well beyond his time and in 1999 the American Film Institute ranked him the 18th best male movie star of the Golden Age Hollywood in AFI's 100 years 100 stars list. As so many actors that came after him, he started his acting career by appearing in a commercial and when the acting bug bit, he left college behind to pursue his acting career. When Dean's major films were released, teens from the era identified with Dean and the roles he played, especially that of Jim Stark in Rebel Without a Cause. He was one of the first leading men, like Rock Hudson, to be adored by both men and women, irrespective of sexuality. So who does James Dean look like? James Franco looked so much like James Dean that he even portrayed him in a 2001 film, James Dean. He received the Golden Globe for his performance, as well as an Emmy nomination for his portrayal of James Dean. So who else looks like James Dean? Dave Franco is the younger brother of James Franco, and you have to admit, he also has an uncanny resemblance to James Dean, but nowhere close to that of his brothers. Do you agree with the entries on this list? Let me know in the comments. Is there a doppelganger that I missed? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe, so you can stay up to date as soon as I post new videos. For a similar video to this one, click on this link.